Hello and welcome to another Tecla Structures video. In this video, we're going to be discussing numbering, what it is and how to plan for it. Before you can create drawings or accurate reports, you need to number all parts of the model, but you do not need to number the model before you create general arrangement drawings. Numbering is the key to the production output, for example, drawings, reports, and NC files. Numbers are also needed when you export models. Part numbers are vital in the fabrication, shipping, and erection stages of construction. Identical parts within a numbering series will have the same number, which makes planning for production much easier. In this example, we're going to dive into two very basic cases of numbering. Let's check it out. All right, let's jump in the model here. On the top ribbon, you're going to click on Drawings and Reports, and then Numbering Settings. This is going to bring up a dialog box here that basically houses all of the settings for how Tecla automatically numbers the model. So by having this set up, Tecla will automatically number based on your parameters that you have set here. You can have Tecla compare whether or not the items have holes or they have different orientations or different phases, if it has reinforcing bars versus not. And based on all of these inputs, Tecla will automatically basically scan the entire model and generate the mark numbers for you. Now out of the box, we have three uh, standard saved away settings for numbering. They should work for most modeling practices, but definitely take a look and test them and see how they work for your, your uh, current setup. But how we intend this to work is for initial setup, you know, running some initial reports, things of that nature, you're going to want to use this first setting. Before you create any formal drawings, any formal you know, OFA sets or anything like that, definitely run that uh, setting number two. Now you're starting to have more concrete numbers. Everything's wanting to kind of stick and stay where it's at. And then after you've already generated drawings, after drawing creation has already happened, you're going to one, want to run this number three numbering setting. And that's going to really help to make sure that you don't change any numbering or do anything weird to your model so that way everything stays cohesive and everything's kind of locked in place. All right, let's continue on. So now we're going to set this to the initial numbering. Click Load, Apply, and then OK. So that saves those in there. We're going to come to the top toolbar we're actually going to perform the numbering. So to do that, you click on Perform Numbering and then Number Modified Objects. This will number anything that has been modified since the last numbering. This dialog box will pop up asking if you want uh, to proceed. Click Yes. And that's basically it. So that is the, the most basic level of numbering, is that initial numbering. We've got that complete. Now let's go on to a, a slightly more advanced topic of family numbering. So what is family numbering? Let's take a look at what the TUA says. With family numbering, you can group objects within the same numbering series into different families. This can be used, for example, to find similar cast units that can be cast in the same bed. When you use family numbering, the cast unit position number consists of a family number and a qualifier. So for example, you could have a hollow core mark, HC1. You could also have an HC1A, depending on whatever parameters you set up in the family number, whether that be you know, width or strand or length, anything like that. So that's what family numbering is. Let's show you how to set it up in the model. All right, back in the model here. Let's double click in the background and let's set up some visibility display options. Let's turn off the parts, press modify OK, and then the visible object group. Let's set this to precast all. Press modify and OK. Now you see what we have here is we just have all the double T's with our selection filter down at the bottom set to objects in components and the precast double T selection filter on. Let's draw a window around the entire model. Over here on the side, we're gonna change the cast unit prefix to say DT for double T instead of the previously FS. Press modify, that's gonna change the cast unit position for all of those. Now let's go back up to our numbering settings and click on the family numbering tab. This is where we can add in a series down at the bottom. So select add series and then select the DT one. Press add. Now over here on the side, this is where you can control what other characteristics you're looking for. So we're going to select the overall length. Move this box down, and we're going to save this setting away. So like, let's say we use this all the time. We can set this up as our standard numbering. Click Save As. Once you have that setting saved away, feel free to apply it, and then close out of the dialog box. Now come up to your top ribbon, Perform Numbering, Number Modified Objects and all of those family numbering settings will automatically apply. You're all set. That will conclude our presentation today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.